Hey, what's up, fam? Welcome back to Tommy Bates TV and Life, where we know that life be life. And so what we have going on right now is a lot of people are preparing their homes. They are preparing their businesses um, because they have been warned that they need to stock up at least five to seven days supplies um, due to the potential of the flooding that is going to happen and the winds that are going to come in. And there may be a lapse in time before they can receive help. So this is why we need to stay stocked up. This is why we need to stay prepared. Let's get into the store. Before we do, definitely hit that like button, share and comment. All those things help the channel, especially subscribing to the channel and turning on your notifications because I usually post more than one video a day. And if you are new to the channel, welcome in. Thank you for being here. My name is Tommy, where I do news you can use. I do some homesteading and I'm about to be doing a little bit of traveling pretty soon in my SUV camping. So I first, let me also say before we get into the video, I want to thank I'm not going to say your name, but thank you so very much for the cash app that you uh, just sent to me. I really do appreciate it. So let's get into this video. So it says, as, let me see, let me go back up, let me go back up, let me go back up. I might show the video. I'm not sure because YouTube has been, you know, <laughs> putting people on restrictions for doing stuff. It's ridiculous. So the first tropical storm of the hurricane season is taking aim at Texas and Mexico, threatening the Gulf Coast with severe flooding and high winds. Tropical storm Alberto formed over the western Gulf of Mexico. The National Hurricane Center announced that on Wednesday around 10 a.m. local time with maximum sustained winds near 40 miles per hour. The storm is expected to strengthen slightly before reaching the coast of northeast Mexico early Thursday morning. Um, Alberto is expected to weaken rapidly, however, once its center moves inland and will likely um, dissipate over Mexico late Thursday evening. Tropical storm warnings are in place along the Texas coast from the San Luis Pass to the uh, mouth of Rio Grande. With high winds and much as 10 to 15 Inches of rain, y'all, expected in Corpus Christi. The state government enacted a large-scale emergency response in anticipation of the widespread flooding. The National Weather Service office in Houston said at 4.30 a.m. local time that there had already been reports of coastal flooding as rain moves inland. The disturbance is very large with rainfall, Coastal flooding and wind impacts likely to occur far from the center along the coast of Texas in northeastern Mexico. This was the tweet that they sent out. We've been watching the uh, saltwater recon live cam. So you, there are live cams that you can watch, you guys, to monitor the coastal flooding. Image below is Surfside Beach. There uh, used to be a dune at this location, it says, that has been eroded. Lots of reports of coastal flooding this morning. So I can play the tweet so you can see. Okay. The Hurricane Center also said early Wednesday that life-threatening mudslides were likely in higher areas of the northern Mexico area, including around the cities of Monterey and Ciudad Victoria. On Tuesday night, Texas Governor Greg Abbott ordered a state division of emergency management to put the Texas State Emergency Operations Center to a readiness level of four, meaning it began 24 hour operations. Um, they say, as we prepare for severe tropical weather, 
Texas is activating all personnel and resources needed to support Texans and communities that will be potentially impacted by excessive rain and flooding. The Texas A&M Forest Service has mobilized four team comprising of 100 personnel and 24 vehicles, while the Texas National Guard has three platoons of more than 40 personnel in total, alongside 20 vehicles, including Chinook helicopters. The Weather Service told people in the affected areas to have five to seven days supply of food, supplies of water and other necessities. What necessities would that be? Well, if you have canned goods, make sure you have can openers. Make sure you have water filters in case you run out of water and are forced to use water that you shouldn't be using. Hopefully it can filter out any bacteria from it before you ingest, clean, or cook with it. Um, make sure you have back up power as well, because I'm sure that people are going to lose power in this situation. There are going to be grocery stores that are closed. There are going to be grocery stores before they close that have already run out of the water that you probably need. So let's try to plan ahead for these storms that we know are coming. Pray, plan, and prep is always a good thing to do. You cannot go wrong. Even if it does not affect you, you are prepared for the next situation that is going to take place because there is always a next situation. So it says the storm warning came as 71 million people were under some form of heat advisory or warning Wednesday as a severe heat wave is set to last through Friday. And I think that's it for this video. But I do want to, to add um, to the things that you need, you should be stocking up on, of course, water, um, lighting, if you lose power, solar or generator, that's gas, something that you can have power so that you don't lose your food, you know, because sometimes they can't get out to you within a certain amount of time that you might need them to. So you don't want to lose everything you have. And if there is potential for flooding in your area, if you can go to um, leave your home and go to another place that's higher up, then I would say, go ahead and do that. Don't risk your life. Um, but if you do intend to stay, make sure you have important documents that are in waterproof um, packaging. Um, just stay as safe as you possibly can. I'm going to try to play a little bit of this video, not all of it, because I don't want a copyright. Let me just make sure I have it where you can see it still. Hold on. Pause. First tropical storm of the season, the major concerns, heavy rain, flooding, high winds, and even possible tornadoes. NBC Sam Brock joins us now from Galveston. Sam, you're getting slammed right now. How bad are the conditions they're expected to get? Yeah, I think soaked is the word you're looking for, Peter. Good morning. Look, as the sun comes up, coastal flooding right now, a significant concern for southeast Texas. Where I am on Galveston Beach, expectations of a few inches of rain. It's come down a little bit, but we're looking at 5 to 10 inches for parts of south Texas, up to 12-plus inches in pockets. And, Peter, I want to draw your attention over here. I'm going to keep a few feet back. This is a 17-foot high seawall, and the violent Gulf of Mexico right now is kicking waves up that are easily clearing it and at times going over my head. I'm trying to avoid that happening again right now. We're under a flood watch here, basically, from where I'm standing all the way down to Brownsville, Texas. Guys, you're talking about 400 miles. That is a six hour long drive. And the winds right now at about 40 miles an hour up to those wind gust speeds, but maybe even getting stronger as the storm expected to make landfall early tomorrow morning. I want to show you this video from overnight. This is Treasure Island, Texas. That's near the San Luis Pass. You're seeing the streets there flooded already, strong enough winds to be moving signs side to side. You see a lot of those, a lot of those homes are raised up a couple of stories because of events like this. A couple more notes. One, the governor here, Greg Abbott, has issued an order to be ready for about 20 state agencies for emergency responsiveness. That includes everything from forest services, which have multiple strike teams, the National Guard as well. Of course, today is Juneteenth. 
Galveston, including many other cities in the area, delaying or canceling those events. Canceling those events uh, because of conditions right now. Obviously, it's an important day, but this is what we're looking at at the moment. Let me send it back to you. Yeah, wow. Sam, you be safe down there. So that's what's happening in news that hopefully you can use. Prayers out to all of you who are in that area or have family member in that area. I know that Florida is a place, um, and they're talking about Texas and Mexico, but Florida is definitely a place that I think my son is thinking about later down the line living in. So, And they currently are going to be attending well, he already attends the school on the coast in South Carolina. My daughter's about to attend it. So I know how that feels as far as um, having loved ones in a place that a storm is coming to and hoping and praying and having faith that they will be OK through it and that they will follow whatever orders that are given to them. Um, not a lot of people like to leave their homes because not a lot of people do leave their homes, especially down in South Carolina. Um, when a storm is coming through. But if you know that it's going, your area is going to be a flood zone area and the potential for you having to be evacuated out of it after the fact, you might want to go ahead and think about what's best for you and your family. So continue to prep up and stock up on the items that you definitely need. Shelf stable items are always a plus. Um, I will see you guys. Probably not later today, so definitely hit the like button and push this video out to more people so more people will know that they too should be preparing because Texas and Mexico are not the only places that are going to be experiencing um, severe weather. We're all eventually going to be hit with the severe weather, whether it is water related or with this intense heat that's out here right now. Um, things are really serious. Things are heating up in certain areas, cooling down in certain areas and definitely underwater in certain areas. So y'all take care, stay safe. If this was news that you could use, if it was informative, please hit that like button, share the video out, leave your comments and tips. Definitely leave your tips down below because people do read the comments and give them ideas of things that they should be stocking up on and staying prepared for the potential of an emergency hitting their area, whatever it is. Uh, remember that I love you, but God truly loves you more. He created only one you. Be the very best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. But in order to do that, you first need to love yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, how will you know how to give love to others and receive it in return? So y'all take care, stay safe. Prayers out to everyone. And thank you so much for the cash app. And if anybody wants the cash app, it's down in the description. It is not mandatory or necessary, but it is down there to help the channel. So y'all take care and I will call you. Turn your notifications on because if your notifications ain't on, then how is your phone going to ring? How is your bell going to go off and shake and shimmy? How is it going to ring? If your notifications ain't on, I look forward to talking to you in the comments and reading some of your tips and ideas that hopefully I too can use. So y'all take care. I'll call you.